Hello all of my amazing viewers. Welcome to Kate Bonnie Country, and you know me as Kate Bonnie. Thank you so much for stopping by. Come on in and have a seat while we prepare a grooming space. I'd like to give a shout out to Vanessa at Girl with the Dogs 2. Vanessa specializes in difficult to groom dogs. So if you want to learn more about how to groom your own dog, I strongly suggest visiting and subscribing to her channel. The link will be in the description below. One thing I have learned about owning a husky is that nothing is ever simple. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, you have seen me struggle to bathe Tamir in my tiny bathroom. Today, I am setting up the new grooming space in my mother's basement. This home was built in 1934. My grandparents purchased it in 1956, and it has remained in my family ever since. As you can see, we have a utility sink with hot and cold spigots and a floor drain. So this seems to be the perfect place to set up a grooming station. I just have to do a bit of cleaning and rearranging first. My first priority is clearing out the sink so I can get the hose hooked up. In order to ready the sink, I spent $13 on a mixer hose, $25 on a medium duty garden hose, and $8 on an adjustable spray nozzle. Once the hose was hooked up, I had to find homes for some of the items that are stored in here, scrub the sink, and do the floors. I will need to purchase a squeegee to push the water towards the drain in the future.
I had originally planned on placing the grooming table along this wall. However, I realized that all of the electrical runs overhead, there is no outlet to plug in the dryer and clippers, and the central air conditioner compressor would limit my workspace. This is the closest outlet to the sink, so I laid the box here and took a break. My mother was not yet home from volunteering at the local soup kitchen, and I wanted to make sure this placement wouldn't interfere with her activities. My mother is 80 years old, in good health, and volunteers at a soup kitchen. I want to be like my mom when I grow up. Once my mother came home, she approved the table placement. I wanted a solid steel grooming table, but the quality ones start at $150. That is a little more than I wanted to spend, so I chose this steel framed adjustable polyethylene utility table. It is rated to support up to 350 pounds, so it will do for my purposes for only $52. Since this area is not well lit, I purchased a 4-foot plug-in mark shop light for $20 at Walmart. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. If you haven't already, please consider liking this video and subscribing to Kate Bonnie Country. I mostly post video essays related to living in the country and dogs. I also spent $36 on a Hoikwe clamp-on grooming arm with glooming loops and an accessory tray. However, the tabletop was too thick for the clamp to fit around. I had to grab a hacksaw and pruning shears to remove some excess plastic without compromising the structural integrity of the table. Due to the design of the table, the clamp has to be off-center. Once clamped on and assembled, the polyethylene did bend and cause the arm to lean outwards. So I took it apart and started looking for a way to reinforce the table edge. I rummaged around the basement amongst my grandfather's old tools and found some steel brackets and shims. I used those to reinforce the table. While there is a slight tilt, it is solid. A little wiggle is acceptable as Tamir will move around. I purchased a two-pack of Happy Hoodies from Zony Pets for $17. I have one small which is suitable for Bree the Chewini and a large one which will fit through Rojo and Tamir. Dogs are often afraid or otherwise dislike the noise of blow dryers. A happy hoodie helps dampen the sound and reduces the stress on the dogs. I also found a 7-pack of soft muzzles of various sizes for $11. The soft muzzle I currently use relies on hook and loop to size to the individual dog. However, Tamir's fluff gets embedded in the hook part 
it doesn't tear as it should, and it is a pain to clean out. With this set, I will be able to use the appropriate size for each dog. This is my new grooming station. I found a really cute washable shower curtain for $18 to use as a backdrop, but that did not arrive in time for work day. So here is a breakdown of the costs for creating this grooming space. Mixer hose, $13. Garden hose, $25. Spray nozzle, $8. Utility table, $52. Work light, $20. Grooming Arm, $36, Happy Hoodies, $17, Soft Muzzles, $11, Shower Curtain, $18. The grand total comes to $200. This space will pay for itself in two grooms since the closest groomer to my home charges $120 to groom huskies. Tamir just had her monthly flea treatment, so I have to wait a few days before I use this space and bathe her. Thanks for stopping by and please join me next time for that bathing video.